Hi everybody, this is Patrick Altmeyer. I want to show you how to install. Um, this is the best way it worked for me, the um, Okie Data C 330DN laser printer. It's a color laser printer. Some people have been having trouble with the install. First thing you want to do is you want to go to Okie Data and download the driver. We're going to use that and we're going to use localhost 631. So we're going to hit Control A. We're going to go to okiedata.com. And once we get there, we're going to put in the printer information. We need the drivers. And our technology is just a color page printer. It's a, you know, that's all Okie Data does is uh, lasers, so it's laser color. And we have the 330DN right here. Hit go under driver. Okay, it's going to find your operating system. I'm going to get the latest um, vintage version of Linux 6. Make sure you have the right one. Um, I'm using Linux kernel 2.6, so I'm going to use that one. And now we're going to go and get the driver. Okay, it's a zip file. I'm just going to save it to my downloads directory. As you see, I have already saved it. So just to make it as ease, I'll go to my Documents folder, or Desktop. I'll download it there, because I want to show you the process. And then we're going to open up our folders. I put it under Documents, I mean under Desktop. I'm going to right-click on it, and then I'm going to extract here okay see how it's been extracted and now we'll, we're gonna find the ppd.gz file well, we're gonna have to extract that and here we go now it's extracted this is the one we're going to use so I'm gonna hit control A again and go to localhost See how it says localhost 631? I've already typed that in. We'll go to that one. We're going to add printer. And we're going to add a printer over here. Okay, enter your username, which is what you made in your password when you got the computer, when you installed Linux. Uh, on Ubuntu, it's pretty similar to this. Okay, now you see we have a lot to choose from. It has both of my office jets, and it has my Oki data. So we're going to go to the Oki. We're going to continue. Two ways to do it. Um, one way is to just use their drivers on the on the on the uh, computer, but I can never find it. I'm going to call it Home or TV Room. Hit Next. You're not going to share. You're better off individually installing the drivers. Okay, now if you see here, you got to look for the Okie Data C 330, but they only have the 3300. Oh, here it is. Here's the 330 and the English. So you can either choose this one or, like I did, I downloaded the driver. You can hit Browse. I also put it in the Documents directory right here. I mean the uh, Desktop. And we went to the open. I, I, mean, I just have it in two different spots. But see, I can either select this one and use this, or I can choose this one here. Which one should we use? Let's just go with this one right now. Okay, hit open. Because that's the way I showed you to do it. Now we're going to hit add a printer. Okay, now this one only has available tray 1, set default options. Okay, it has been set up. Now, when you go up to here, and how, this is how you check it. We'll open up, uh, let's say, the uh, Yahoo homepage. They always have a lot of color. This is how you can tell if it's installed correctly. I have a caps lock button. Okay, see how it's a bunch of pages and a bunch of color? So I'm going to go up to the top and I'm going to go to File, or just hit Control P with Firefox. 
Okay, now it's using the uh, Okie Data printer. It looks like a page setup. Does it allow two sides? Yes, it does. Pages per size, you get all lows. As long as you have these uh, options, you know it's done. This is the main thing. Now we got to check the advanced. Quality, you can have normal, fine, or high. Normal is good enough. Image smoothing, page rotate, adjust lines, media printer. Printer setting, ultra heavy, ultra heavy 2, user type 1, heavy, glossy, just whatever the printer setting is. Color mode, automatic, grayscale, no color matching, office color. We'll just keep it on automatic. Okay, let's hit print and see if it starts to print. I will pause this video and I will be back in two seconds. All right, this is Patrick Altmaier saying uh, the installation worked just as described. And um, if you want to get rid of these after you're done, you can delete the uh, files from your desktop and they won't show up here. All you got to do is open up your folders and go to desktop. And as you see, while well, I d delete these, Um, they're going to disappear from the desktop. See, they're gone. Bye-bye. All right, this is Patrick Holtmeyer again. Thanks for watching.